Greetings and salutations and welcome back to our Let's Play of Eve 4 with Red Bastard as Albania. We last left our nation. We were looking into the options of declaring war on the Ottomans. And we had to accept the reality that we would not be able to beat their navy. So that's a fact. and get that as a claim again. And we can get uh, 16,000 more troops if we really wanted to. And I'm thinking that we could get some more cannons. We have eight there, eight there, oh no, four there. So we definitely need four more cannons, bare minimum. And then if we could get four more cans for each army, that would be ideal. For just not making that much money. And I think they just threatened war against Mamluks and took a province from them. Yeah. That was Makuria beating up on Mamluks. Good for you guys. And we can get a humanist idea here for increased religious unity. And hire an engineer for, yeah, basically all of our money. But I'd really like to get ahead of time on military tech. Further ahead of time. And let's top off relations with all of our allies. I'm wondering what the war participation would be like. Let's take a look. Okay, so Spain and England would come in. France would not. Even if we promise some land. But possibly once um, Spain joined the war. Spain does have a lot of debt. But not enough. Okay, do we fear them? Well, I think we should wait a year until these forts get built. So that's some perforations there. Okay, they broke off the alliance with Nevers, or Nevers flipped over to Protestant. And you got a Polish ruler now. Okay, Commonwealth is invading Russia. Or somehow there's a war there. I'm not sure exactly what the terms are. So Russia's invading no guy, and they're guaranteed by the Commonwealth. It's not a super smart war. Russia likes us. Um, why don't we improve relations with them a little bit? They don't like Ottomans. Okay, they do have an heir. Yeah, so I, I can't launch this war without, without uh, Commonwealth assistance. Because we can't win the naval game. 
So we do have to win the land game. And I'm just not confident that we could do that. I mean, we might be able to. But... I might could launch a non-essential war on a might. Yeah, come with us 75,000 troops versus Russia's 100,000. Dude, what's with you? Maybe we'll watch some Netflix in a minute. Chill. Well, at least they're making good progress on these forts and they're building up an army. Probably largely mercs, because I think their manpower's. No? Yeah. B2000. Okay, shush it up, bud. Dude, enough. Enough. Come here then. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear all of his pitiful meows, but he's like sitting in a box, looking around, meowing, like looking up at the ceiling, looking at the wall, meowing at it, looking at the light switch, meowing at it. I have no idea why he's going crazy. I wonder if they're still in the War of Religion, because... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really, guys? Okay, funny joke. <laughs> now, who's your real emperor? Oh, it's Austria. I'd flip the table. That's just ridiculous. I mean, they were smart. They just allied a couple of the electors, what, four of the electors, and rode it to victory. Okay, let's uh, top off relations with some people. And I'm half tempted to ally with Persia. Make the Ottomans fight a two front war. I like that. I hope they now break their alliance. with Ottomans. Oopsie. The awesome if they rival them. Take the corruption, it just costs us money. Can't get anything from our state. Yeah, I really wanted to launch this war, but while this is ongoing, we can't. Does Russia have an army? I'm really curious to see if they're like... Are they not? Um... Yep, third largest in the world. Sixteen military tech. So they're not, you know, drastically behind. They're a little bit behind, but not the kind of would justify them losing that badly. I'm hoping that there's some sort of war that breaks out. between 
Ottomans allies. Ooh, they lost their alliance with with Spain. Nice infantry combat ability. Okay, we could support more troops than that, five more troops than that, but this will have to do. Okay, why? You rival them or something? Nope. Rivaled England's. So they had to choose between them. Good. Okay, England can't render them the same kind of assistance that other people can. Let's see, how's this war going? I'm losing it. Really hope they launch another war. They can invade Persia or something. Austria, are you involved in war? You are. Ugh. Okay, let's let's wait. Now we have two strong reasons to wait, and two of our principal allies are in a war. Okay, we have enough favors to call France into a war if they would accept, which they might not. So in discontent. Are you serious? Well, at least we're getting rid of these Portuguese pirates. Shame on you guys. You shouldn't have been here in the first place. Okay. Provence, Anhalt, Portugal. We're not going to go for that. We went, went to attack. Okay, they can deal with Anhalt, so we're really needed on the Provencal front. Okay, so you guys have a march over here, and we'll see what we can do. Start building up some spy power here. Relations because they can get. I guess need to get with the times. Look back over the Catholic. Catholic is doing so well in the Empire. Go Catholic. Anyone can be Emperor if they're Catholic. Anyone. <laughs> Except for us. But we're not bitter. What is he doing? We have two big ships. We killed one of our trains or one of our trade ships. Jerks. We did have an odd number, so I guess it made sense to do that. Get a general here. This guy's got two siege. It's a great general. It's just a level two fort. That's a test if they're serious fort, as I like to think of it. It's not going to stop anyone, but if they're not serious, I'm going to be like, eh, I want to siege that out. Nice. Let's 
Okay, any bets on whether um, England actually helps them when we invade? Well, there's Portuguese. Okay, Brandenburg. Could you, like, get more than 10,000 troops? I'm embarrassed for you. You could have nearly double that. You could have 18,000 troops. You're like deeply in debt or something? What's what's going on with you? What's up with that talk? No, they're not. You like have no manpower? What's going on? No, you've got 23,000 manpower. Not a Prussian monarchy. We have a fell. Let's move down to Provence. I feel good about upgrading the size of this fort. We'll hold out longer. Hopefully we'll smash this and go back and try to eject them. Went to the legitimacy down the drain? Sure, who needed that? Hey, France, what are you doing? You're just like running around. Like artistic dance or something? Okay, they are at peace. Um, did they win? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's take a look at this. Um, claims, no cores lost. Claims, no cores. Yeah, I think, I think no guy lost some land here. I mean, they've clearly lost land, but I think they lost uh, at least this province in that war. And Austria is getting beaten up by a bunch of people, including Salzburg. Okay, so there. And France is moving their troops to this border. Independence guaranteed by Spain. I hope France doesn't attack. Ottomans intervened. Who were the three powers? Oh, it's Portugal. Who's on our side? Commonwealth and us. Portugal on the other side. Ugh. Let's see if we could keep them in board I mean just like hope hope method of national defense they totally wreck us but maybe they're not going to try maybe they have low self-esteem or something sure we'll take some cash from you guys the crusade and let's just try occupying some other territory. Sure, take your money. Uh, no. Can't sort out that garrison. We do have the train bonuses. We'll add another ship. 
what will we do then? Let's see if we can. Wipe them out here. Let's make sure that they can't get any trips back. I was hoping to stack wipe them just with our um, garrison because that's hilarious when that happens. But that didn't work. Thank you for being afraid of our ships, Ottomans. Okay, let's um, bump up some trust with some people. And let's indicate that we would like some of this territory. Exactly those provinces and that one. No mark, single unit of marks. I don't know why they're not. Um, just wrecking us. I'm not complaining, I'm applauding. But it's, um, surprising. Where are you guys going? Okay, they're gonna keep running. We'll liberate this territory. If we need to march all the way over to Portugal, we'll do it. Oh, there they go. Okay, lost three gallons. Okay, hey, let's just march all the way over to Lisbon. Let's see what we can do. Okay, Anhalt is fully occupied. And now that we no longer have our wooden wall, let's definitely get it. Ooh, three siege. We gotta leave him over here, though. Do we? No, he can be the hammer against Portugal. This guy's good enough used to defend our borders. Humanist, sure. Get some ducats. What are you up to, France? France, do you have debt? No debt. You could become defender of the faith. I'd rather get our military tech up first, and then we can decide what we want to do in that regard. Yeah. Let's have that talk, Portugal. Yeah, we'll take a free loan. And let's get some manpower. We might need it. A 
They believe him on the two for military after witnessing their strategy thus far in this war. They are not underestimating the uh, Ottoman general's strategic thinking. I mean, they control the seas. Like, let's just put all these troops here. Okay, um, 49. They start to move. I'm just going to scorch the earth here. They're just, yep, they're moving. Okay, let's scorch the earth. We could have another six units, so... Oh, they're bringing another 55,000? Okay. Well, I guess I shouldn't have taunted them. Okay, everyone all back to here. Come up here, and we already scorched the earth. I should have built up this fort a little bit. Uh, how much manpower do they have? Let's take a look. 100,000. Yeah, if this was a bigger fort, I'd be more confident that it would hold. I mean, it's not going to hold for very long. Get these ships out of here. Oop. We've got to move. Okay. Lisbon has fallen to us. I think we'll just get out of Portugal now. Do we have a fort defense guy? No. Don't really want to suffer attrition here. Let's split these armies in half. And one up here. We gotta wait for more men and morale before we can try anything relating to Constantinople. Hey, got you. Okay, let's get you back over here. I mean, they can go over here and take Lisbon back. Um, but it's really up to Brandenburg to make this work. I mean, they have lost 20,000 manpower so far. Suffering contrition here. Let's see, could we support it? Yeah, let's move this army over here. Don't lose as much manpower. Yeah, 65k. Just, I mean, what do you expect to happen, guys? I'm gonna throw a stack like that.
Okay, that was just a ship we didn't. They have more trips than we do. Um, let's put this guy with three siege on top and move over here. See if we could just outmaneuver them. May not be willing to throw too many troops into an area where we scorch the earth. Save one guy behind. See if we can defeat them here. We can. Good for us. Okay, they're not going to get across again, I don't think. Let's upgrade these cannons right away and hope they don't try an immediate counterattack. And this is our fort, so. We're not suffering attrition on it. Unless we exceed the force limit, which we're not currently doing. Adriatic. Um, they have big ships. They're going to win this. Let's. Let's get out of here. Okay, we didn't lose any ships. Let's click on this. Go home during war. It's kind of dumb to sit on that fort in the mountains. And by kind of, I mean really dumb. And let's check to see how long this video has been going on. 32 minutes. Let's stop here.